Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. A while ago, I released a Pico 8 Fantasy Console installation video for your Steam Deck. This was using the Windows version running under Proton because there were issues with the Linux version at the time. Now that the Linux version is fixed, we're going to show you how to install Pico 8 as well as integrate it right into Emulation Station for maximum enjoyment. For those of you not familiar with Pico 8 as a platform, my video showing Pico 8 being set up on the Anbernic handheld has a really good breakdown of what it is, how it works, and how it differs from other emulation platforms you may be familiar with. I highly recommend checking that video out first if you need more background on this platform as a whole. While the Pico 8 never existed in real life, hence the term fantasy console, it does share some similarities to other console emulation. You're going to need a program to run the games, what you might call the emulator, and you'll need game images, which you might call ROMs, to feed it. Pico 8 does have a built-in game discovery system called Splore, and we're going to cover that later. For now, let's find some games to play and get the emulator downloaded and installed. Before we get started, it's worth noting that Pico 8 isn't free. I know, the death knell to everybody. Stick with me here, as this could be a bit confusing. If you want to play the games in a web browser, Pico 8 emulation is free, but not nearly as robust or as tidy as Emulation Station. This allows you to sample the Pico 8 gaming library before you decide if you're willing to pay for Pico 8 to run natively on Windows, Mac, or Linux, or in this case, the Steam Deck. The actual games are largely free, many accept donations. If you want Pico 8 to run outside of the browser, it's going to cost you $15 and that buys you every version of the emulator for all three platforms, as well as free updates. As a bonus, if you like what you see, the emulator, quote, quote, has a full development kit built into it, meaning you could write your own games for this fantasy console, all for that $15. Chances are, though, if you're watching this video, you know all about Pico 8, and you probably already own the package you need already. If not, you'll need to go ahead and buy it before continuing this video tutorial. Links will be provided in the description below. This video will also assume you have EmuDeck installed and you have Emulation Station available to launch from Steam. I'll provide a link to a nice EmuDeck setup guide that I prefer, and it's probably one you've already used. Let's start with downloading the required files. We'll go to the Lexalawful Pico 8 website and click the download button. If you're not logged in, be sure to do so first, otherwise you'll be asked to purchase Pico 8. Now, we want the Linux 64-bit edition, not the 32-bit edition. A small file will download. Let's open up the Dolphin File Manager and navigate to the download. We will extract the contents of the zip file to the home slash deck slash applications folder, which should create a new folder called Pico-8, all lowercase. Inside that folder should be just under 10 files, which includes Pico-8, a readme, a license file, along with some others. We're done here. Let's return to the Pico 8 website and find some games. Now this can get a bit confusing because there are no ROMs or zips to download. All games are encoded into PNG files. That's right, games come in a picture format with the .p8.png extension. And if you look at them as a PNG, you will see what looks like a box shot of the game. That graphic contains all the game code needed. That's crazy, right? So let's navigate and find a couple of my favorite games. Once you find the game you want, try it out in the browser. Once you decide you want it, click the little word cart in the bottom left corner. Depending on your browser, it may just show the graphic instead of download it. If that's the case, right click the word cart and save it. Be sure to name it something you recognize if the PNG isn't already named well. Be sure to leave the .p8.png file extension. Now I'm a big fan of some arcade game clones like Phoenix, and Wizard of War, and Frogger. Let's grab all of these as well as Tutankhamen. Now that we have these four games downloaded, let's copy them where Emulation Station wants them. Open the Dolphin web browser to our Downloads folder on one side and our Emulation ROMs folder on the other side. We should see a Pico 8 folder, no dashes, all lowercase. If that folder doesn't exist, go ahead and create it. Remember, no dashes or caps. Within that folder, we'll place our four PNG files. Right, now we have the emulator put where it needs to be, and we have some games put where they need to be. Before we go test, though, let's do one more thing while we're in desktop mode. 
Again, using Dolphin to navigate to your Pico 8 ROMs folder, right click somewhere in the folder's empty space and select Create New, then Text File. Name the file splore.png. Make sure there's no .txt extension, just splore.png. We'll be using this later. Our next step is to run Emulation Station and make sure the game files show up in the UI. Let's flip over to gaming mode now so we have controls mapped and everything should be flawless. If all is well, you should see Pico 8 in your emulation station interface. I don't dig the light color used in my theme, but I digress. Upon entering the Pico 8 platform, you should see your four games listed here, along with Splore. A couple of these games I already had downloaded artwork for previously, but you can use the built-in scraper to get media for these. Let's do that right now. Hit the main or start button and select scraper. Select scrape these systems and choose Pico 8, then back, then start. In a few moments, the game's metadata should come down and be visible if the game names matched the database. All right, enough of this. Time to try out our games. Let's start with Phoenix. This is a classic two-button shooter with a fire button and shields. Super neat. When you're done playing, hit Menu or Start and select Shutdown. This will return you to Emulation Station. Feel free to play around a bit and then we'll move on to adding the ability to run Splore, the built-in game browser and downloader. You should note that if you try to run Splore from Emulation Station's UI, it will error out. Should be obvious that Splore is not a real game, since we made it up just a minute ago. This is a placeholder to run Splore once we make one more change. Navigate to Splore and hit the View or Select button, and then edit this game's metadata. Scroll down to the bottom, right trigger by the way, make short order of this, and select Alternative Emulator. Change the emulator to Pico 8 Splore standalone. Then back, save, and apply. Now try to run Splore again. Boom! Splore is a built-in file browser, player, and downloader. You can search for games, see what's new, see what's a work in progress, and even mark favorites. You can even launch the games you already have in Emulation Station from here. You can even update cards from here, but there is a catch. While Splore will happily download the games for you, it doesn't put them in the Emulation ROM slash Pico 8 folder you're going to have to do it yourself. There's another way to work around this, and we're going to look at that in a minute. For now, assume Splore is a good vetting tool to see and grab games you like. To get out of Splore, exit the running game using the menu or start button, and exit to Splore. Hit menu again, then options, then shut down Pico 8. It isn't glamorous, but it works. Any game you played in Splore is sitting in a disconnected folder elsewhere on the deck. Let's return to desktop mode and do a couple more things. Open Dolphin and navigate to home slash deck slash dot lexaloth slash pico8 slash bbs slash carts. Now, if Dolphin doesn't have hidden folders turned on, show hidden folders, you're going to have to do that. And I have a video that shows you how to do that and a whole bunch of other cool things in Dolphin right there in the upper corner for you. You can go check that out real quick and then jump back here. Once you're in that folder, you can see all of the .p8.png games we played during our Splore session. Now you can merely copy any you wish to keep over to your emulation slash ROM slash Pico 8 folder. For those interested in a more complex 201 level solution, stick around, we're gonna do things a bit differently. If you're happy with this setup as is, thanks so much for watching. Always appreciate the like, sub, and comment, of course. Now, you clever Linux heads are already scheming up how to keep all the games together at once and allow Splore to update them without a lot of moving files around. Let's link up the ROMs folder to that Splore folder for Pico 8, and then we can have one place to rule them all. We'll back up one folder and rename Carts to something else, like Carts Old. Then from the Dolphin Hamburger menu, select Create New, Link to File or Directory. We'll name it Carts and we'll paste in our Pico 8's ROMs directory underneath emulation slash ROMs. You should now see carts in italics in the BBS folder where Splore dumped its carts. If you click into that folder, 
you should see the contents of your emulation slash ROM slash Pico 8 folder. All right, let's test this back in gaming mode. All right, so let's go ahead and run Emulation Station, go into Pico 8, and launch Splore from Emulation Station. Under New, let's update and grab a game we didn't have before. We select it and play it a bit. Now we exit and shut down Pico 8. Hmm. The game we played isn't there. Did we make a mistake? Nope. Emulation Station doesn't update the list in real time, so we'll need to exit and go back in for the contents of the folder to be read again. Bam! There it is. The new game now appears not only within Splore, but also within your Emulation Station. Super cool! Well, there you have it, folks. Pico 8, all set up and running like a champ. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of great games out there. Enjoy. And please, don't pirate Pico 8. Buy a copy. Encourage your friends and family to buy it, too, instead of passing yours around. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your like, love your sub, and even a comment below, good or bad, will help grow the channel. I'm Shane Armonroe, and thanks so much for watching. Take care.